we enable you to start a sleep journey. And what this is, is a series of sounds, and actually we can integrate with smart lights as well, in order to get you to fall asleep, sleep deeper, and then wake up with a smart alarm clock. Um, in order to get this to work, it, to work most effectively, if you have smart bulbs, you can connect to your um, smart home environment uh, by doing what I just did there. Um, and we need to access basically HealthKit, which is Apple's health app, in order to extract the data from these various devices right here. Um, so we use all of these data inputs and um, in the setup process, we start you out with your, uh, your best sleep journeys right here. For it to work without a wearable, we actually measure sound in the room with your microphone um, from the phone. And also if you get up in the night and you bring your phone, we'll measure your awakenings that way. Um, so it won't measure, if with just a phone version, it might not accurately measure all of your awakenings, but it can give you some pr pretty good proxy information. And we also measure sound in the room to see if there's disrupting noises that are waking you up. One of the best ways to improve your sleep quality is to block out these noises with something like the dynamic mask, which is a feature that I really like. Usually when I set this up, I like to use ocean waves. And so I just set that up there. And so now you'll see there's ocean waves. And if you wanna create your own journey, you just press the plus in the um, upper right of the screen you can select from all of these. A lot of people like binaural beats, which are best, obviously, if you have a little ear, ear if you listen to them in, in, with earphones. And there's also these options for having a deeper night of sleep. Um, the dynamic mass blocks out a greater um, spectrum of frequencies, which is the reason why I like to use it. We also have deep sleep stimulation, which is a premium feature. And that's sort of what I describe in, in my TED Talk. Um, and we have some science validating the use of playing these specific sounds to target your sleep um, and prime delta waves. And then we have a smart alarm clock. You can wake up with bird sounds. I actually like to use the miracle wake up, which is gradually increasing this 528 hertz sound. Um, so I'm going to add this to my journey. Um, you can set any time here and it's going to gradually ramp up from 631 to 641 um, in order to wake you up in, in a lighter sleep cycle. So this is our journey right here. I'm going to save my journey um, and see 631 to 641. Okay, and so that's how you set your journey. And then just before you go to bed each night, you would press start sleeping. Um, you can hear the binaural beats here. Um, and this is going to measure your sleep. And then in the morning you say, I finished sleeping and that's gonna get your wake up time and you'll get data in the morning based, based on what we detect from your environment. It'll be something like this, but you don't see much information here since it was a short session. So hope this is helpful information on getting you into how to use sleep space most effectively. And then if you have any questions about your data, one of the key differences that we have is with our software is you can get coached and get personalized feedback um, based on the data that we're collecting with a chat bot and a bunch of coaches that we've trained in order to give you the best sleep possible. All right, I'm gonna make some more videos now on connecting wearables.